a year ago I did a video about my Adidas Laceless Ultra Boost and that video is still getting a lot of attention I'm still getting a lot of questions from people about the shoes so I figured now that it's a year later I'll do an update on the shoes to see how the shoes are doing after a year of running in the same video uh, I also introduced our Flemish friendly giant Jubba he hasn't been in a lot of videos so we'll check in with him in a little bit as well plus I'll announce the winner of the Xbionic headband so stick around for that And the first impression of the Laser Ultra Boost was that they were very comfortable and that they're just as great to run in as my regular Ultra Boost. Now that the fact that they don't have laces was a big plus because I don't mind going out for a two hour run but taking 30 seconds to tie my laces, that's just wasting my time. Now I've had the shoes for a year, but I also have a lot of other shoes, so it's not like I use these shoes on every single run. I alternate my shoes, but I run in these for at least once every two weeks, at least. So I've had a lot of runs in these shoes, and my main concern when I got the shoes was that after a while of running in them, they would stretch out, they would give more slack, and they would not be as comfortable to run in anymore. They would not feel as tight around your foot. And I'm very happy to say that that's not the case. They are still just as tight around the foot and they still feel comfortable. They still feel just, just the same as my regular Ultra Boost. So I'm very happy with the shoes and I love running in them. People have asked me several times if I would recommend buying these shoes. Now my thoughts on that are that you're probably looking at these shoes for a reason. You like the way they look or uh, you're lazy like me and don't want to tie shoelaces or you love your Ultra Boost and want another pair but you want them to look very different from the ones that you have. In any case, I don't think that the Laceless Ultra Boost will disappoint. I think they're a great shoe, they're very comfortable and even though they're laceless, they offer a lot of support for your foot and they don't have your feet sliding around in your shoes. So yeah, I think I would recommend buying these shoes. So are these the best running shoes? Probably not. but. Uh, that's also very relative. One person might favor one pair of shoes, another person might favor a different pair of shoes. Uh, that being said, I love the Ultra Boost line and these match up to the regular Ultra Boost as far as I'm concerned. They're very comfortable and uh, even though I love running these, I also have the Solar Boost which just have that little bit extra. I don't know, they're, they have a little bit more boost. Uh, so those are still my favorite running shoes, but it doesn't take anything away from the laceless Adidas that I have. I love running in these and I can really highly recommend them as running shoes. Jubba has been with us for a year and in the introduction video, he was a couple months old and he was this giant, especially compared to the other bunnies. But now when I look back at that video, I see this tiny Jubba who really was just a baby. Okay, so this is Jubba. He's about a year and a half old now. He's molding, so he's losing a lot of his hair. So he looks a bit fuzzy. Oh, and there's Baby. Hey, Baby. He doesn't have a cage anymore, he just runs around the house freely, but he mostly just stays in his room, like a teenager. Now Jabba and the cats got on pretty well together. For some reason they enjoy using his water bowl, I don't know why. Uh, Chirpa is still really playful, so he runs around a lot and 
sometimes kind of scares Jabba, but other than that, they don't fight or anything. Uh, they get along pretty well. Uh, Jabba's a big boy. Uh, he could probably hurt the cats <laughs> instead of the, the other way around, what you would expect. But uh, Jabba's a friendly giant. A couple of weeks ago, I started a contest to win an Xbionic headband. Now, I love using this headband myself, as you can tell in a lot of my videos, uh, and they don't sell these anywhere. anywhere. Uh, now, it's not sponsored by Xbionic, it comes out of my own pocket, and to keep the cost of shipping down, I'm gonna ship this to the winner without a box, but it is a brand new headband. Now, uh, for other contests, we got a lot of entries. For this time, uh, there's not that many entries. Before we got Chirpa to pick a winner, and today I wanted to see if maybe Jabba would pick a winner for us. So uh, let's go see Jabba. So I wrote the names down of all the entries on these pieces of paper, and let's see if uh, Jabba will pick one. Okay, Jabba doesn't seem too excited to pick a winner, but I know who, who does seem excited. Let's go to Chirpa. Okay, maybe we'll let Cheetah pick one. Okay, can somebody just pick a winner? Wait a sec, wait a sec. Alright, Chirpa has picked one. So now uh, let's see who the winner is. And the winner is. I don't know if you can see. Meredith Rice. Congratulations. I hope you're gonna enjoy uh, the headband because I know uh, I enjoy it a lot. Now, um. I hope you enjoyed this video with the little updates of everything. Until next time, get out there and run.